Hey guys, this is Heidi, this is Lost Heidi and today, well you see it's pretty pretty dark so it's 6 a.m. in the morning and I'm about to head to Cerro Las Tres, Cru Tres Cruces which is a really nice hike I'm sorry because it seems very very dark but yeah I yeah, thought so it's very dark, these people just listening to music. So what I want to say is that we're going to Cerro Las Tres Cruces and in there you're gonna have a really nice view. Uh, it's a hike so I'm just about to do sport and that means that I'll be, I don't know, I think I'll be doing the hike in around 30, 35 minutes, 4 minutes. So see you in a while. Hey guys, I'm here and yeah, so now it's not so dark anymore and what I'm going to do is just uh, do this hike which takes like maybe maybe if I'm fast and I'm not getting really tired like 30 minutes from there you can see the whole Medellin I mean just a part of it so I hope I can show you a little bit and I mean as you see like this is in a residential area so you see people walking dogs like there is another one in there and yeah this is a very very residential area and yeah I have no idea oh look at him he's about to play to play to play okay I have no idea if, uh, if I'm fast and I'm not getting tired I'm gonna be there like in 30 35 minutes if it's gonna maybe take me a little bit more maybe 40 minutes but actually it's not that um, yeah it's not like so complicated the only thing is that it's really really steep but more than that I think we're gonna be fine um, at, at the moment I arrived to the, to the top of the mountain then you know there is like a group of people they just doing a little bit of calisthenia uh, crossfit and then this kind of activities which is very very cool so maybe I can join them for a bit and yeah guys that's all so I just want to show you this is called Cerro de las Tres Cruces normally there is a lot of people coming here a lot of groups when they want just to train themselves and yeah that's all this is a, a park in here you see like this is very very residential area so that's what you're gonna get in here so people playing here football and doing their calisthenia there I don't know if you can see them but they are in there so guys see you in a while when I'm just hiking that mountain which I have actually done many times but you know today I think like there's maybe like a month ago I haven't been there so I got tired so see you in a moment a few moments later okay guys so I just arrived so actually this is the kind of way that we're gonna hike it's a little bit it's actually not a little bit it's really steep and this is the name of the cerro or of the mountain so it's Cerro Las Tres Cruces and this is what you need to remember I mean, while you're here so it's just to take care of your bit of the environment you know like the good use about the place blah 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 and yeah just please don't get drunk in here as you can see I'm already sweating because I was doing all the way just coming here what I want to show you is that I'm gonna set wait a moment I'm gonna set like four stairs and this is gonna be let me check so as you can see it's 6.49 and let's see how it's how, how much or how long it's gonna take me so I'm just gonna be hiking just gonna be showing you a little bit around and yeah wish me luck because I haven't been here for a while but I really like it you know like if you want to come here and just do a little bit of cardio and just you know because this is good for for the health I know lifting weight is good, but when you do cardio, you know, like there's a lot of people coming here with the pets. Uh, but if you're doing cardio, in my case, I feel it's making me a little bit stronger. So 
I like doing cardio and I feel strong myself. I mean, like, just look at this kind of way when it's really, really rainy. I think I couldn't come here because probably you're gonna get an accident. Look at the stairs. Okay, guys, so yes, you know what. So, guys. There's a really a lot of light. Oh my god, I've been just doing this for now eight minutes. Oh god me. Just sweating my ass. But it's fine. We're gonna make it. What I want to show you from here is that you can see the whole mountain. You know Medellin is funny? Because it's like a valley. So you have like the mountain around and in the middle that's nothing. So when it's raining everything is just coming here in the middle. Like there, we have two airports. There's one in there, so you can see it. I'm sorry, I'm just out of bread. What do you think? Should I just keep going or, you know, give up? What do you think? So, look at this. So, this is Medellin. I think from here, which is a point that we're not really that far away, we can see not, not really much. But let me just come into the to the top of the mountain and you're gonna get a really beautiful, beautiful view. Dude, like, I'm so exhausted and I have been, you know, I haven't been working out or normally I go to the gym almost every day, but last year, I don't know, it's like a bit tiring. Like, I do have to work and do this and do that. So I don't manage. And I feel like this when you stop. You know, like taking again, but just restarting to do sport is complicated. So look at this. This is the way, which is also really steep. But we're gonna make it. You know, there's all kind of people here that you see, families, old people, and all of them. They're just hiking. Even there is people. They come in like they're just coming. In one day, they're doing these this hike three times. So that means the hike is complicated, but not that complicated. Not everybody's doing that, like three times, because it's gonna be a lot of time. <sighs> Look at that. Oh my gosh. So I'm supposed to be there, but when I come there, then it's another mountain. So let's, let's keep on this, guys. I'm just pushing, you know? So see you in a while. Okay, so now we're doing 17, 18 minutes and this is the view, so you wanna see it like we can see a little bit more it's gonna get in the top, here you can get some fruit some juice, if you wanna drink something so you can do it this is like the middle of the way, so as I say, it's really gonna take you a lot you can see there is people selling some something to drink like normally oh my gosh just out of bread. I'm trying not to. Wait, let me change this. So, I'm here. I'm just half of the way. Actually, it's not really complicated. The thing is because it's really, really steep. It's not a normal hike. So, we're here. And yeah, if you come here, like, it's actually not gonna take you that much. You don't have to pay for entrance or something like that. There are two ways. That's the one I'm taking. There's another one, but it's more in the mountains, there's more grass and everything. And actually, the, the other one is a little bit more complicated. Um, in here, as I say, there is people that come in here just to do calisthenia. And that's cool, because in my case, I like also to do it, but... You know, like... I'm just out of breath, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, but those groups, like for example, they come here, they meet like once a week or something like that. And yeah, they do their the sport. So it's actually nice and funny just to join them a little bit. Guys, so 
just come here it's very easy like you're maybe you, the only thing you're gonna spend is like maybe ten dollars something like that so as you see like in Colombia you can do many many stuff for a really cheap price like for example doing this kind of sport you're gonna get a view you can come and also drink some orange juice in the top of the mountain there is some restaurant so you can also get breakfast there in my case I just always come here and eat some fruit and then I go home because or if I come here with a group of people maybe we go and just take uh, some breakfast so in there you're gonna see those guys and those guys like support them you know support them because they are just this is the way of living for them they are just living off doing like orange juice selling bananas and like some fruit so they are always helping and and you know that's a, a nice and organic way of supporting people that they are on the street in my case i always try to do it because i don't know these people they are just doing their job like a good one so you can see that everybody's just, you know, stealing or doing pickpockets, you know, but there is people just doing like waking up really early in the morning and doing their stuff. Guys, I'm just going to keep on walking because now it's 20 minutes, you see. So let's see how it's going to take me just to finish this. So see you in a moment. Guys, look at this. So I'm in the middle where I showed you before and this in there, that's the end of the, of the hill but no i think it's there and then you we gotta come a little bit more so in here and it's a little bit you know behind so wish me luck it's in there like that white spot so i think that way it's a little bit more complicated if you see the mountain is more steep but we're gonna make it that's why this hill is called Cerro de las Tres Cruces and yeah we're about just to you know to finish i don't know i feel so exhausted because there was a long time i haven't been here and i think i have been changing altitude like for bogota and coming here maybe that's affecting i have no idea or maybe i'm just lazy but okay let me check 12 seconds later so yay we did it we did it oh my gosh so we did it in about 40 minutes if you guys are not so lazy or in bad shape like i'm right now i think you're gonna make it in 25 or 30 minutes just let me do this <coughs> and yeah we did it we did it and i'm so tired i'm out of breath i actually want just to you know Keep on talking and I can't. Guys, we did it. So this is coming to Cerro Las Tres Cruces. Now let me show you. This is because one cross here, two, three. Makes no sense, but that's the name of it. And you can see there is a lot of nature in here. Mountains. So Medellin is a really region full of mountains and nature. That's what I like from here. There's so much sun in there. Okay, let me just catch my breath and show you a little bit more something. I'm just about to buy something to drink because I forgot my water. But yeah. This is what I wanted to show you. I really, really uh, would like that you guys just suggest me what kind of videos would you like to see, what kind of you know content would you like also just me to film you a little bit around about Colombia because I'm gonna be here for a time. So yeah, just please, you know, you, you can also suggest. I know some of you want like uh, nightlife, which I'm about just to film because um, I must say I'm mean, not that nightlife person, but I also want to show you a little bit. Uh, please go subscribe to my channel. I'm Los Heide and for those who just they don't know me uh, You know, I started this channel on, on January this year and what I want to show you is what a local like me a Colombian girl can do in a country which many of you have think like it's very dangerous and like 
you know, I just want to incentive people just to come here and yeah, just to show you a little bit around what is this country, what is me traveling as a solo woman, what kind of activities you can do and what is the budget you should have just to come here. Guys, please go and subscribe to my channel, hit that like, you know, like just hitting that like, you're gonna be supporting my channel and you're gonna be supporting me just to keep on doing this video. So please, please, please go. It's gonna take you less than a second. So I don't know, just do it. Moments later. More moments later. Oh. <laughs> so look guys, this is orange juice and pineapple. So I guess. Okay. Y un banano. More bien para los Ah, ya, ya lo puse. Hay un gator, ¿cuánto leo? More tropical o mandarina. Eh, uno, cualquier tropical. ¿Cuál es usted? Tropical o el de mandarina. Mandarina. So look this, this is orange juice, a piece of pineapple, I'm about to eat a banana and just take this. Gracias. If you guys want, you can also eat this, which is ensalada de frutas, you know, just fruits, this pineapple, papaya, watermelon. And yeah, you can come here and just, you know, you're gonna spend, I think, less than $10, like really, really. This is gonna cost me like 5,000 or 6,000 pesos, which is like two dollars and if you're taking a taxi just to come here so let's say if it's too expensive you're having a lot of things you're gonna spend like 20 dollars so guys i come to the finish of this video so i hope to see you next time and yeah so i'm gonna you know eat my fruit uh and oh, drink my 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 gatorade and everything and you know like if i try i just want to go and do a little bit of calisthenia for those who is just checking me on youtube channel please go and just try my instagram everything is on the box below just also go and subscribe and yeah that's all so hope to see you next time bye bye